I'm in Herco's showroom and I'm here to have a look at Herco VM10 machining centre. Graham, good morning. Good morning, Paul. Tell us about the VM10. VM10 is our level entry machining centre. It's our smallest machine that we do. Um, it's our, by far our most popular. We sell over 100 a year. We currently have over 1,200 out in the field. 1,200 machines installed 1200. in the field of this model? Yes, correct, yeah. That's a big figure. So when you say entry level, what sort of axes travel have we got? Okay, in the X axis you've got 660 millimetres, you've got 400 in the, in the Y axis and 500 in the Z. And spindle speeds? 10,000 RPM. As a standard? As a standard. And then the tool changer, side arm, side mount? Yeah, swing arm tool change, 20 positions. Yeah. And then what about the control? The Winmax control is a very popular control in the industry. Um, what sort of features does this offer that maybe other machine tools don't have? Okay, as well as the, the FANUC uh, compatible NC control, we have our conversational programming. Um, so did, would that mean that you could have a FANUC program and you could run it through, a her, through the Winmax control? Yes. Okay, yes. And you can also merge an NC program with a conversational program. So you have the best of both worlds with this so type if of I, So if I had a machine tool in my machine shop, which was a FANUC, and I'd been running, <coughs> and I had 200 programs, if I bought a Herco, there would be no issue with compatibility of, of, um, of the program. Correct. So it's a Windows-based touchscreen control. Correct. Can you show us a little bit of, uh, of the control in action? Yeah, sure. So this is graphics. You have full graphic simulation. You can select different views. Isometric, or you can have all views. And so this is the part we're going to see machining in a minute. It is, yeah. A complete simulation of that. Okay, coming back onto the machine, one thing that's very evident is the size of yeah. this, the VM10. Yeah. It's a very small footprint. It is. That must be popular. People looking to save yeah, yeah. space and size. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, footprint is a premium in this country. So it's 1.8 meters wide, 1.6 meters deep. 2.5 metres high. Right, right. Yeah, that is a small machine. That's a small footprint. Yeah. So if I was looking for a machine in centre, what would push me towards a VM10? Why would I look at this as my favoured route? Okay. One is the footprint size. Two is the, the, the big travels. 660 in the X is quite big for a small it's footprint a small machine. machine. It's got a 15 horsepower, 10,000 RPM spindle. So it packs a punch as well. So it's powerful, so it wouldn't just be a machine that you could cut aluminium on, you can actually use it for your more difficult materials as well. Absolutely, yes, it's very powerful. And then when we look at the spindle itself, is it a BT40? It's, it's a CAT40 or BT40. Through spindle coolant? That's an option, yes. That's an option. So I see this machine's also got probing, so this is for tool setting probes, but I'm assuming you can have workpiece probes as well. Yeah, this machine is... is um, it's got a, a wireless OTS27 Brennishaw touch probe. There's also an OMP40 part probe. Part probe on the machine. machine. Yes. Speed, another big factor. People are looking yeah. for production, they're looking to reduce cycle times. What sort of, I know it runs on linear rails, so obviously that makes it a faster machine. What sort of uh, millimetres a minute have we got in the you've rapid got, got, axis? Yes, you're right. It's, it's uh, linear rails on all three axis, 24 metre rapids. Okay, well, let's see this machine in action.
So there we have the Herco VM10, one of Herco's most popular machining centres, a compact machine, great value for money. You can see this machine on mtdcnc.com or visit Herco directly.